I'm X. I'm Diane Warren. And this is the Academy Green Room. Hey, X is back, and I'm here with the GOAT. The GOAT of songwriting. GOAT. The GOAT. There's a GOAT The here? greatest of all time. Yes, there is a GOAT I, in I the have, building. I have a rescue ranch. Do you? I do an anim- a farm animal rescue ranch, and there's real goats there. Well, those are the real goats. No, you're the real goat, and okay. then you also have goats. You're the greatest Thanks. of all time. When it comes to songwriting, no, I'm not. But... I'm, I'm claiming it on your <laughs> okay. behalf. Thank you, but I'm not. Diane, but, okay. I have. And see, that's why you. That's what <laughs> the greats do. You're humble. You're humble in your greatness, and I'm gonna claim it for you. Okay. Now, normally Thank when you. I do interviews, I don't have access right now. I would have an air horn on my intro, and I'm gonna give you a big intro right now because we're on okay. Spotify Live. There's an audience tapped in right now live. We're in the Academy Green Room. We're on Green Room. 13 Oscar nominations in yeah. counting. You said um, something to me right before we started. You were like, that means I lost 12 times. Yeah, but I was nominated 12 times. That's what Actually I'm saying. nominated 13 times. 13. And, and it's a big deal to be nominated. I think so too. Five songs were picked. Only five songs. The Grammys have how many song categories? That's right. Like, Endless. You know, and 10, you know, they have 40 song categories. You know, the Oscars have one, five songs. That's right. all, think of all the songs released all the all, all year and all the movies. They only pick five. And that's if I'm right. one of those, man, that I, that's winning. Let me, I would jump right in it. How did writing for film become a specialty of yours? You clearly have a knack for it. I, I love doing it, you know? I mean, I, I just love writing songs. And, yeah. and you know, it's fun to, to kind of capture what a movie you know, the heart of a movie. That's yeah. what I like to do. What is your process? You my see process it first. process is everything. Yeah, okay, my process, for, yeah. In general, writing is I show up and do the work. But right. for, for movies, um, you know, I, I, I either read a script, mm-hmm. you know, or preferably I see I see it. I see a rough cut of it, mm-hmm. which like with Four Good Days, the one with right. um, Somehow You Do That I'm nominated for this year. Reba you know, McIntyre. Reba somebody. McIntyre will be singing it Sunday, which I, I can't which is wait. Amazing. I hear it's going to be amazing. So I'm sure it is. Yeah. She's I'm, a legend. Yeah, she's 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 great, and she was perfect for this song and perfect for this movie. And when I when I when I do a song for a movie, I'm casting the artist for the song, you know, that has to be authentic to the song and mm-hmm. authentic to the movie. Right. And she, and she was both. How do you know when you nailed it? Like you. I feel it. Head. I feel it. It's just like I'm really a perfectionist, mm-hmm. and so when I'm sat, satisfied with something, I'm usually. How many hours would you say you spend on one of those songs? Oh, I could spend. I spend. I could spend a week on on a song. But lyrics are the, what I take really time with. You yeah. know, that's what that's what's, you know, that's the hard part, you know. But I but I I'm I'm really meticulous. Mm-hmm. You know, with lyrics and, and, and music too, but the music, you know, comes a little more easy, you know, but now then I got to kind of figure out what the story is. Then I got a really great chorus, but how do I set that up? You know, I have a great first verse, but mm-hmm. then where do I go? And then, okay, I have a great second verse, then what do I do with that bridge? How, yeah. do I, how does that, you know, take it to the next level? And, you know, so that's, it takes work. How much time do you spend with the film before you even start writing? Or you just start? I just see it or I read the script. Just once? Yeah. Once through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the, yeah. and then what are the what are the conversations like with the directors? You know, because one thing about film is a collaborative process. Yeah, usually they trust me. Mm. You know, um, like like again, I'll you know with this song, mm-hmm. you know, I, I had the chorus and I played it for the director. You know, I had, I had a piece of the verse too, and I and he loved it. You know, so that was good. You know, you have done so it's better many. than when they hate it. But that doesn't usually happen. I was about to say, look, like, tell me about it. If I'm at the point where I play something, I'm really excited about it. I won't, I won't play for somebody unless I love it. Tell me about a time where you loved it and you were shocked that they didn't love it as much as you did. Or did it happen? Well, there was, there's a couple of, you know, but you know what, the, but there's more that, you know, that works out than, yeah. than that don't, to be honest. But how, do you, but how do you take it? Because you've had so much success and I, and I um, think people can learn from it. That's the reason I'm pressing a little bit well on that. you know so, okay sometimes they, they don't take a song for a movie and then sometimes it, something else happens with it I, I remember writing something for um i think it was sisterhood of the traveling pants mm-hmm. i wrote a really great song for it and they didn't use it i was kind of like bummed out but right. then carrie underwood was doing an album and she loved that song and she did it and that album sold 12 million albums and 
That it, worked out. It found another and, life. And if it was in that movie, there I don't know who the artist was going to be or anything. Right. Else. So you know what? That They did me a favor. Already got a question from the audience. Diane is a legend and has worked with so many iconic people. It's going to be a tough question for you. Who has been your favorite? And they said, hi, Diane. Oh, hi. What's your name? What's, yeah, let's get, hi, it, let's get the your name. name is. Yeah, let's get the <laughs> name up. They're all my favorites. Is, yeah. that a, is that a great question? But I think that's fair. I mean, a great answer. A, gr a great, like, not yeah. get myself in trouble answer. I would have answered the same way. Okay. Like, I mean, what are you going to say? Yeah, if I, if I say someone's my favorite, and they go, wait, I but what about, your favorite. But what I about thought me? We, I thought we really yeah. had yeah, something Yeah, yo, what, what's up with that? Like, yeah, I'm not going to work with you again because I'm not, you're not, I'm not your favorite. I mean, it's so much I can ask you. I mean, so many songs, like nine number one songs on the Billboard, 32 top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100, including If I Could Turn Back Time, Share. I want to know some of the stories of these songs. And does it ever get to a point where you make a song that's so big that you get tired of it? No, I don't get tired of it. Because if I'm getting tired of it, that's a good thing. I mean, if, if I'm like, if it's right, getting it's like played a good too much. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I'm always, I'm, I'm grateful for any, any success or, you know, if people know my songs yeah. or like right now on TikTok, I've, I, I did, I wrote a song for Paloma Faith that was a number one record, like outside of America, mm -hmm. everywhere else. Cause she, no one knows who she is here. But mm -hmm. now all of a sudden on TikTok, it has like 350,000 videos in the last month or something. Right. So it's like, wow. It's like, that's a whole other world that I've never been a part of. So that that just gave a whole other life to, how do to you, that song. How do you keep it fresh? Like, how do you keep I work yourself every day. inspired? I, I work every day. I get inspired every day. I come up with ideas. You know, I just, I, I work, you know? Well, what's the, what's the it's like, zone? It's like an Olympic, it's like an Olympic athlete. If you want to be in the Olympics, you, you, you better yourself. practice. Yeah. And you have to practice every day and you have to work and you have to put in the, the time and you have to put in the work. Getting a rep It's, it's that simple. Do you study other artists? Are there any other artists no. that you, you just... I don't study artists, but I've, you know, of course, been influenced by stuff. Yeah. I want to go back then, because I'm sitting now with the legend. I really mean that. I know you, I'm don't, not a I know you don't like that. You're oh a legend, God, Diane. It makes me feel old. Well, it's not about that. It's just about <laughs> your accomplishments. Over, you've been a legend for for some no. time, just because you've had some amazing accomplishments. I'm still here. I'm that's still right. in the game. That's right. You're I'm still, still active. kicking ass. That's right. You're you know, kicking like, ass. Yeah, that's the... That's that's kind of what's awesome, you know. Like if I had a choice, like back to the Oscars, if I had a choice of, of winning and being, you know, one of these nominations yeah. and never being nominated again, I would I would choose to, you know, uh, the longevity of thirty four years and, and thirteen nominations. Can we go back to when you first wrote for a movie? What was that story? How did that come about? That was um, my my first big hit. Really, was Rhythm of the Night. <sighs> what a great DeBarge. What a great song. <laughs> Thank you. What a yeah. great song. I love that song. So yeah, that was, you know, very, and it was, what, what was really awesome for me is I, I'm such a Motown fan and mm -hmm. growing up, I, I just loved all, every artist on Motown, all yeah. the songs. So for my first big hit to be on Motown with Barry Gordy was it's the a big coolest deal. thing ever. Yeah. And then from there, was it just kind of like, then you got the next one, like somebody heard that, liked it, and then offered you well, the next one. You're talking about movies? Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of kept doing it like, you know, I just think it's something that, that, you know, my dad put, you know, said as long as I went to college, he'd support me. And so I took all these real, like, movie classes so I didn't have to do anything. So I was basically a college drop. <laughs> so I took a lot of, like, film history yeah. and <clears throat> watched old movies and stuff like that. But I think in doing that, you know, I almost maybe, you know, Absorbed something. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That you just translate because you really it's really storytelling like you you mentioned like you're trying to figure out what the yeah what the story is what and how that ties is. into the yeah what the part is how yeah. it ties into the bridge yeah. and come to completion it's almost like a story within a story yeah it really is wow it's and your story is really complementary to what right. you felt and saw on the screen right and that story that inspired the, that story and well, then right and then the stories work together yeah then they to build create onto, something else. Yeah, yeah to create something all all new Tiffany asks. What is your best advice for women songwriters want, wanting to break into the industry? I mean, for any songwriter, you know, to break into the industry, whether you're a woman or a man, um, it, it's it, you got to put in the time. Yeah. You know, you have to have talent, A, you know, because if you don't have talent, then all the time and work won't, you know, it's aptitude and attitude and gratitude, like, if that makes sense. No, it makes total sense. Okay, we got another one. The questions are flooding in. This one is from Henry. Has TikTok changed the way you think about songwriting? No, because it all comes down to, 
you know, my job is to is to make the best song I can make, right? So TikTok does, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna write a song that lasts for 10 seconds or whatever. <laughs> right. You know, it's, I do wanna have a full song, you know. No, I mean, it's just another way people are gonna hear songs like with Only Love Can Hurt like this. Yeah. You know, which is the one that is like this huge viral TikTok thing right now. Um, but it's so interesting to watch all these videos of people. Some of them like m make you cry. Like some are very emotional. Right. You know, if you get a chance, look, watch I'm definitely going to do that. And, do and then right go listen to the whole song. It's, it's, it's a great song. But what people have done with, with it, you know, these stories, they, these little miniature stories they tell with my song is, you know, that's new, new to me. But, but to answer the question, no, it, I still want to write the songs I write, write great songs. No, then you guys can make 15 minute videos out of it, 15 right. second videos it's, out of it. Which is incredible. Which is cool. We talked about, you know, the collaboration process between filmmakers, you, mm -hmm. how you look at that. But a lot of your songwriting, I mean, your songwriting, you do by yourself. Yeah, all my, yeah, I was just in the studio with Rita Ora yesterday. Yeah. And um, I just did a great song with her. And, and so she was holding up my lyric sheet and going, look, one name, one name, guys. Like that that's that like that's weird. It is weird. No, I know in this day and age when there's, you know, ten to Literally. fifteen songs, you know, minimum of five writers on a song, mm -hmm. I'm I'm a unicorn, yeah. That's right. You know? So it's it's a trip. I was looking at album credits, I'll let the artist remain nameless. Because yeah. I always look at the credits. I yeah. always do that. I want to see who wrote it, who produced yeah. it, who engineered it. It's hard to find now, right? It's so hard to like, find. I, that's what I that's what I miss about actually buying records where yes. you can see on the record. You hold it. it. Now you have to go, okay, well, do I go to all music? Do I go that, like, yeah. yeah. Do I, oh can I say that on Yeah, yeah, we good. All right. I'm going like where the do you go to find, you know, the credits? And <laughs> I'm like you know, because I like to know who who wrote and produced right. stuff, you know? But and it's like, I clicked on one. You Sherlock Holmes to find out. I'll show you how to do it on Spotify. It's not as hard as the other ones, but yeah. there's a little trick to it. But it was one, and one song, I'm not exaggerating, had 15 songwriters on it. Yeah, was it, um, what was it? The Mark Ronson, Bruno Mars Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Uptown Funk. Yeah, Uptown Funk. Like, that kept growing writers every week. So I think there's a lot of songs. A lot of samples, samples. Yeah. yeah, and then they had, like, they oh, kept finding more them. more writers now. Oh. Right. What what is what is your approach to sampling? I don't sample. Never have. No, I mean I, I just write songs. You know, I don't sample other songs. And you how know? do you? And I hope that when someone does records of them, I'm always really careful with that. Please don't have that be a sample. Right. Oh yeah, when you you yeah you actually when we're doing say, records, you you're know, like I mean, listen. Uh, don't do that, or I'm gonna have. <laughs> I'm gonna, all of a sudden my song's gonna grow ten writers on it. And you can't. You know, have so that. no, I don't, I'm not into that. How do you write across so many genres? Right now, the Reba McIntyre song, that's country. Yeah, yeah it's country. You did um, Aerosmith, you did yeah. El DeBarge. Yeah, I, I'm all over the place. I do like classical crossover stuff and I do a lot of R&B stuff. Yeah. You know, um, but, you know, even I, I just did my first record, my uh, features record, where I'm kind of like a DJ. Yeah. And I have everybody on there from like, you know, Maren Morris to Ty Dolla Sign to John Batiste from Pentatonix to Celine Dion to John Legend. So it's, all, it's kind of all over the place. And how did you pick the artist that you wanted to collab with? I just had songs I wanted to put on there. I had too many songs, so I'm gonna do a volume two. Nice. Yeah, I mean, just and and I I have more now that I want to do too. When it, when is it coming? I haven't. St well, I have I have a few that didn't you know get on that one because mm -hmm. I kept writing new songs. Like I met John Batiste. Well, I knew John Batiste, but I saw him at last year's Oscars. Yeah. And I just written my song Sweet. And I and I and, and I'd met Pentatonix through my dentist, <laughs> which is so random and weird. Um, oh, it's funny. I just realized sweet and uh -huh. dentist. That's why you go to a dentist because exactly. you have a cavity. Too many sweets. Wow. Okay, that's interesting, um, and <laughs> random. And so I I ran I ran into um, to John. Mm -hmm. he, he won, and I lost for my twelfth time last year's Oscars. I wasn't gonna bring that up. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, and I and I told him about the song, and he and he loved it. And my and I just had stopped my record and took something else off. Mm -hmm. And you know. I'm excited about that song. We're gonna be doing the video soon. I love that song. So this is gonna be the lead single off of it's volume gonna, two? Well, it's, yeah, it's gonna come out. Well, not the lead, it's, no, vol, no, it's still on volume one. Oh, it's still it's on, on volume, volume one. one. So it's yeah, just, yeah. just yeah. continue to push the project. But I, I love it. I, I think it's such an upbeat and up happy song. It just makes you, you know, it kind of fits, you know, just summer. When you're, when you're not writing for film, when you're not writing in I'm always writing. Another. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I'm always you. writing. Yeah, you're just, all, you're just always, constantly, constantly writing. Yeah, I was in the. You know, I was. I was. I just came from the office. I was working on a really cool song today. Can you tell me you anything know? about the song? No, it's a secret. Why is it no, a secret? I don't want. You no. got so many. No, no, no. It's it's really good though. I bet it is. I like. I was kind of happy. I was excited about it. So. I love. Just let me know when I can hear. Let me I know. Will. I, I will. 
All right, we'll stay in touch. Please, I would absolutely love that. All right. Another question. This one is from Marcus. I like this question a lot. Do you have any songs you love that you wish you wrote? Okay, I'm going to answer this the way I've always answered this mm -hmm. question. No, because I wasn't meant to write them. That's real. Yeah, it's from my heart. That's real. I was, the songs I love, but those weren't my songs. Those, yeah, those weren't meant. You like? I got, I got my own songs. Yeah, I, I'm cool. I got, I got some good songs. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, cool, okay. I'm meant to write the ones I write. But yeah, I'm happy. Is Steven Tyler one of you? Your favorite artist? Yeah, from he's, your... Steven Tyler's awesome. I mean, like. You know what a voice, what a he's he's like a true rock star. You know he's he's and he's a great guy. That's one of my favorites by you. Thank you. It, yeah, I was still I was shocked song. when they decided to do my song. You know they they, they never did a songwriter song. I mean a right. Beatles song doesn't count. Right, right. That's a Beatles. Right. And speaking of that, I had Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr on a song of mine last year. It was Ringo Starr, a song what? called "Here's to the Nights." Yeah, he asked me for a song. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and first of all, I'm the biggest Beatles fan. And yeah. I, I'd done a song for, for Ringo for Ringo before, but I thought, okay, I had a whole concept with the song. Uh -huh. So let's get your old friends, and then let's get your new some new friends. Okay. And my old friends, you know, my little idea was to get Paul McCartney, <laughs> and so he loved the idea. He and he got Paul. Paul was the first one to sign on, and then we got like Chris Stapleton. And amazing Cheryl songwriter Crow. himself. Yeah, by yeah, the way. yeah. He's amazing. Phineas is on there. Uh, Lenny Kravitz is on there. Yeah. Um, Dave Grohl's on there. It's a pretty, it was pretty cool, but like all I saw was, you know, Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney in my mind, you know. I mean, the fact that you like. And the got, video, there's a video and they're singing it together. I haven't seen it, I gotta admit. Watch it, it's really good. I'm watching that the second I'm, we That's a pinch it. me thing to this day. I was gonna ask you about yeah. pinch me moments. Like, that's a pinch me moment. That's one, give, give me a well, couple more. Cause I mean, like it doesn't get better than that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, watching I mean, Paul, Paul McCartney, McCartney and, and Ringo, Ringo Starr like, on your song. That, you know, I mean, they're all pinch me moments. You know, look, getting nominated this year was a pinch me moment. Right. Because I was not a, a shoe in You know, there were, there was a lot of competition. This was the most competitive year I, totally I ever agree. saw. And so I, like, just, you know, I stayed up all night mm -hmm. waiting. And, and, you know, and my song was the last one called. And I had 10 heart attacks before <laughs> that. Was my, and, but you know what? It was just the, the most wonderful moment. So that was like, yeah. Is that what you normally do? Do you normally stay up wait? all night? Yeah, stay up all night. Yeah, I'm not cool enough to go to sleep. You know, like these other people go, yeah, my agent, my manager. Oh, yeah. Well, nah, yeah, you like, you you're just, like. You just think you're really cool and don't want to admit it. And I'm not cool and I don't give it. So I stay up all night and admit it. And I'm happy to admit it. And then when you hear your name called, that what's was, that like? It, was, they, <clears throat> it wasn't my name. It was the name of the song. And I was right. just like, I just was in shock. Because really, this was the, this was. A lot, you know, this is a smaller movie. It is. You know, and, you know, I mean, Reba McIntyre is a superstar, but there were a lot of, you know, there was like, you know, there's billion dollar movies out there mm -hmm. with, with you 2 and right. Jennifer Hudson and, you know, a lot of other Oh, yeah, artists. the Aretha movie. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of like, it's like, you know, a lot of prognosticators. Most of them did not see my song in the top five. I'm like, yeah, right. well, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah, you like, see? <laughs> right. Well, I love to prove people wrong. You should. Tell me about a time then where... That prove people wrong. Yeah, please. all the time. Please. What's proving people wrong? What what do, what are they what are they saying about you? What are they saying to yeah. you? Oh, I don't know. Whenever someone says like you can't do something, mm -hmm. I love it because then I do it. Yeah, you're like I'm. As soon as they say I can't do it, I'm gonna do it. You go right at. Yeah. It. If you don't want me to do something, tell me I can't do it. So that's just the. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna I'm think of one before this before this interview is over. Who's an artist you haven't worked with yet, and you're like. One day, if possible, um, like I I don't. There's not <clears throat> sorry. There's not one artist to be. Totally I'll take any yeah any names. You know you get me. no, but there's people like the artists I'm supposed to work with find me or I find them somehow. Yeah. So it's not like well, if I can only work with you know. Yeah, it just it it's, happens. It's gonna happen. I, I I work with really great artists. I'm I'm very you've you been know, very blessed, blessed that way. like that. Yeah, so because you work so often. Are there artists that have reached out to you? Please, please don't feel like you got to name any names because that's not what I'm asking for. But where you just say, no, I don't think this is a good match because I can only imagine that people reach out to yeah, you. Yeah, there's, yeah, sure, sure. And what, do, and what do you base that on when you say no? You know, if, I mean, honestly, like someone has to have something going. It's hard to, to work fair. with somebody that, you know, it's just to, starting out because it's, yeah. it's so much work. Right. You know? And, you know, so I, I, I'd like someone, you know, they have to be a great, a great singer or mm -hmm. someone that I think I can help and that I can fit into their thing. Yeah. You know, or, you know, has something going on, just being totally honest. No, but that's it's so fair, hard. Though. It's so hard, you know. 
I mean, I find it refreshing that you actually say that because yeah. on the flip side, though, because they could use you almost to like prop themselves or up too. Yeah, or yeah. sometimes though, if it depends on the artist. It's always artist by artist. I might hear somebody that I love so much that I'm willing to take that chance. And you just like, I so, love it. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. do this. Let's yeah. make it happen. Exactly. I'm going to ask you just, what was the first album you ever bought? Um, it was a Beatles album, Meet the Beatles. And what, what was it about them? at that time. I just, I was a kid, I have older sisters. Um, just, you know, I just love, I love them. I, you know, I got to grow up in a, in a time of really great music. Yeah. So, uh, you know, as a songwriter, I got, you know, I'm, I've always been a sponge with, with all kinds of influences. That's why I can write in all these genres. What are some of those influences? You mentioned Motown, you mentioned the Beatles. What yeah, I got artists? everything. Yeah, I mean, every Motown artist, um, er, just soul in general, like, um, so much stuff. Yeah, just you know? a lot of inspiration. Yeah. What because when I grew up, the radio played everything. That's true. Yeah. What are you listening to these days? You know, I listen to things, honestly, to, to hear artists I'm working with. Mm -hmm. and so And to hear what's going on, because I have to, because I'm working with a lot of artists. Right. But I don't, like, in the daytime, I'm doing my own music. Mm -hmm. And when I go home, I don't usually listen to music, because my ears need a rest. And so, I'm going to go back the next day. So what are you doing when you're not listening to music? Because we get inspirations from everyone. You know, I, I listen to people's conversations. You know, I like to go to restaurants and listen to people. Mm. I, I read, you know, I watch I watch movies, you know, see friends. You know, ideas are everywhere. You just have to be open to them. Open to receiving them. Yeah. What haven't you written about yet that you want to write about? What's a story you want to tell oh, that I you know. haven't told about in song form? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. You just... I'll, I'll let you know. And then I'll, when I write it, I'll go see. I, you'd be like, I'll that's one I hadn't yeah. done yet. Got another one we want to take from the audience. This is from Ibrahim. How did the idea of the cave session come up and working with different artists? Well, I, I, I was checking out, like, you know. And can you talk uh, about, can you say what the cave session is? For yeah, those so who the may cave not know? sessions is, is me being DJ Diane. It's what, you know, Mark Ronson or, you know, DJ Khaled or Calvin Harris does, where they're kind of curating, mm -hmm. you know, songs and yeah. artists, right? I thought, you know what? I'm, I want to do the songwriter version of that. And I, and I write in so many genres mm -hmm. for so many different artists that I could pull that off, you know? And I, and, and it kind of started because I have a song that John Legend did called Where Is Your Heart? Yeah. You know, it's on my record. I wish I had singles rights because it's such a hit. Yeah. I don't have singles rights. Come on, John, give me singles rights. Yeah, come on, John. Come on. Let's make that happen. You know, so, and I, and, and he, he recorded the song. He kept saying he was going to use it. Mm -hmm. He didn't use it. I gave it to an artist and then he said he wanted it back. And I pissed off an artist and then so, he didn't use it. So how'd that go? Wait, so wait, then then he didn't use it again. I gave it to another artist and then he wanted it back again. And then he didn't use it. And I go, I am so, I believe in this song so much right. with, your, with your voice. Like I, it's just one of the best things I've ever heard. If you get a chance, listen to the album. Yeah. Listen to Where Is Your Heart, John Legend. And I finally, I go, you know what? And that kind of, when I did, came up with the idea of doing my DJ Diane kind yeah. of thing, I thought, okay, I'm putting Where Is Your Heart on here. It needs to be heard. This is from Lauren. What's up, Lauren? What songs do you? What songs do you have on repeat? I mean, nothing really. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm, well, okay, to be honest, when I'm writing, I'm repeating all day long. I'm playing shit Your, over and over. Yeah. So I'm kind of, my stuff's on repeat, but it's like, you know, like when I was a kid, my dad got a shed in the backyard. Mm -hmm. My parents couldn't listen to me playing my songs over. Oh, they put you in a shed? Yeah, they did. <laughs> they go, it's like, okay, work on those songs outside. In the winter, there'd be a little heater there. So yeah, I'm, that's what I'm, that's what's on repeat because I'm always just trying to figure stuff out as I'm doing. And you just know it when you feel it. Yeah. And yeah. then you go on yeah. to the next part of it. Yeah. You're like, okay, I yeah. got that figured out. Yep. Yeah. Onto the next yeah. piece, and yeah. then you just piece it together yeah. bit by bit. Yeah. I, I love I love that approach to it. Like it's being a, cra a craftsman. I, it's funny. I was with some of my music friends last night. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that. You could be an artist or a craftsman, and I go, no, you talk you're about both. the difference. What's the difference? No, you're both. Because you can't, you can't be one. You can't be a, a great artist without being a great craftsman. Right, and care about craftsmanship. Yeah, it, it, because it's it's a craft, you know. So yeah, that was it's interesting. When we were talking a little conversation last night. Do you see any changes besides the million and one songwriters on every song? Like songwriting by committee. Yeah, yeah. like do you see? I hate committees. That's what I was going. Essentially, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> committees. That's <laughs> I, I came up with that word. That's good. Not that the songwriters are committees, but just no, but committees just... in general are committees. And and talk to me about what you don't like about because I like that it's a, it's about the passion of one person, not a committee. A mm. committee is what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So what do you think? Oh. 
done. You know, yeah. no, it's what do you feel and what is one person? You know, that's how things get done. It's by passion. I think that also takes a certain amount of confidence yeah. in, you know, in what you're, yeah. what you're putting down. I haven't had a problem with self-confidence in my work. You just always had it. You yeah, just... even when I didn't have any reason to believe in myself, I did. But that's, but you have to have it because everything's against you. And yeah, and it's a no business. I tell people like, yeah. it's, it's, des it's designed to weed you out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you can't right? handle that, you don't belong in it. This is not, this is not the business for you. It's, it's designed... like the Marines, you know? That's right. I mean, it is. It's designed to weed you out. It's designed to break you down. I yeah. can tell that's why, really behind why you keep working because you're like, if I'm not working, then what am I doing? Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do. Right. I, I, like, I, I mean, sit on a beach. <laughs> I can't even do that for an hour because I get so bored. You're like, what, what, what yeah, am I okay, actually let's doing? Okay, go, let's go shopping or something. Right. You like you know? need to be engaged. I have to, I have to be, yeah, I do. What do you define as work-life balance? I don't know. If I don't, it exists. I wouldn't know. I don't have really, a, I'm not, I don't have the most balanced life, to be honest. But I love my work, so that's living for me. Right. Just living in yeah, the yeah, work. Yeah, I mean, in that's, that's life to me. All right, let me take one more question from the audience before I, before I close out the legend. This is from Jazz. Great name. How do you start your day? Meditation, breakfast, morning, morning walk? No, I, I, I have like an ice blended mocha. And that's you know, it. And you go? And, you know, have, co go, have coffee and go to work. So you stop for lunch, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you actually take an actual yeah, yeah, lunch yeah, yeah. break, get yeah, up, yeah. reset. And, yeah, and, I, and then I might have a meeting and things like that. But no, I, I start, like, coffee is important. So your songwriting process, sometimes it can I take a week. Up. That's my process. You just show up and do it. I show up and I work. Do you ever, like, not finish any? Or it sounds like you just finish them all. I try to finish stuff, but I have little starts that I'll go back to. And you'll come, and when do you know to come back to them? They tell me. They call me. You just hear them and you're like, okay, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. So I mentioned I mentioned before, before we started, Dixon, the producer yeah. and co-writer of Beyonce's Be Alive, that's also yeah. nominated, called you a legend. He asked who I was talking no. to next. He asked who I was no, talking I to know. next. Legend just makes me sound like old and stuff. I, I, I'm just, I feel like I've just start, I'm just starting. But that's, but that's, that's yeah. great. But we just wanted to shout you out though. He, he wanted Aww. me to tell you that because he was Aww. sitting in that same spot and he, he got a little oh. starstruck that I was going to speak really? to you. Yes. Oh my God. I'm telling you, no I reason to. <laughs> I don't only because I don't get starstruck, but I've been following your career. I've been seeing your name in those line like liners. Yeah, you know, when you can find, yeah. You know what I mean, right? And I got to show you how to find it on Spotify. But I've been seeing your name in liners for years on so yeah. many songs I've been around that I love, in so oh, many nice. movies that I love. And thank you for doing what you what you do. Thank, thank you. Like seriously, and, and, you're an inspiration. And thank you for taking time to talk to me. That, my like cat, DJ cat. Look at her. Can we get a close up on her shirt? DJ Cat, literally, that's what my cat Spike looks like. I showed her yeah. a picture. You gotta see my cat too when you go, go to yes. my Instagram. Her Please. name's Rabbit. She has Rabbit. really big ears. That's why she's my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Diane Warren, Thank wishing you. you the best. God Thank bless you. you. I'm Great gonna to keep supporting you. you. And I'll see you on Sunday. Yes, I'll see you. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.